वेलकम टू एपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर मृणमय प्रामाणिक आई टीच कम्पेटिव इंडियन लैंगुएज एंड लिटरेचर एट द यूनिवर्सिटी अफ कलकाटा टूडे उल डिसकस ट्रांसलेशन एंड फेस्टिवल्स इट इज अ मड्यूल फ्रम लिटरि ट्रांसलेशन इन इंडिया द कन्टेंट अफ दिस मड्यूल इज रिटर्न बै अंशिका अधिकारी एंड इंडिपेन्डेंट रिसर्च स्कलर historically festivals carnivals and fairs have played a vital role to develop social and cultural part taking and share ideologies values which are central to the local communities from an anthropological point of view festivals are considered as phenomena which reassure cultural ethnic linguistic and social bonds festivals have evolved over a period of time due to globalization and multilingualism these factors have changed the dynamics of the same the late 1980s and the early 1990s have witnessed a rapid growth of various festivals across the globe the diversification attracts local as well as global audience the sites where such festivals are organized have also been on the receiving hand of a uh, considerable economic boost such festivals have also emboldened the nurturing of films literature food music and other various forms of leisure and intellectual pursuits a literary festival also known as a book festival or writers festival is a regular gathering of writers and readers typically on an annual basis in a particular city a literary festival usually features a variety of presentations and readings by authors as well as other events delivered over a period of several days with the primary objectives of promoting the authors books and fostering a love of literature and writing writers conferences are sometimes designed to prove an intellectual and academic focus for groups of writers without the involvement of the general public literary translation and literary festivals the discipline of translation studies since its inception has served as the medium through which reciprocal literary exchange has taken place this has been examined by lawrence venuti from the point as to how a translated text acts within the literary system of the target language similarly some other post colonial scholars like spivak basnet have criticized the hegemonic and dominant translation theory where the literary text of the colonized countries have always been at the position of source culture india land of multilingualism multiculturalism and festivals at present host more than 60 literary festival or lit fest as it is popularly known as being an abode to multiple cultures and linguistic communities india is one of the largest consumers of literary text this has given rise to the plethora of literary festivals which are flourishing and witnessing the increased number of speakers and attendees every year literary festival does not only involve an author and his or her text but also literary agents publishers critics editors and readers literary festivals act as a platform that give fair opportunity to the author more than his or her literary work and foregrounds him or her some of the major literary festivals are mentioned below the first among those is uh, jaipur literary festival Jaipur Literary Festival is an annual literary festival which takes place in the month of January in the city of Jaipur. It was founded in the year 2006. The inaugural festival witnessed writers like Shobha De, William Dalrymple, Nomita Gokhale and many others. The crowd was sized up to 100 attendees. Over the year the festival has explored the domains of the poetic imagination, India in world wars. literature in translation revisiting the raj the cultural impact of indian traditional medicine the literature of partition transgender politics 
and the tensions arising from national diversity. The festival has hosted some of the best regarded and loved names ranging from Nobel laureates and Man Booker Prize winners to debut writers including Amish Tripathi, Chima Manda Ngozi, Adichi, Eli Newer Catton, Hanif Qureshi, Iran McEwan, J.M. Koetzi, Muhammad Hanif, Ofra Winfrey, Orphan Pamuk, Pico Ayer, Salman Rusdi, Stephen Fry, Thomas Piketty, Vikram Shet, and Ole Swinka, as well as renowned Indian language writers such as Girish Karnad, Guljar, Javed Akhtar, M.T. Vasudevan Nair, Uday Prakash, as well as late Mahashita Devi and your Ananta Murthy. Since 2008, it is being produced by Teamwork Arts with the exotic location of the Diggi Palace in the heart of Jaipur. The weather pouring in the favors of a mild sun and cool breeze and the diverse lineup of writers, historian, politician, business leaders, sports personalities and entertainers, the annual event has become an important mark on the calendar. Apart from giving rise to the trend of of mushrooming literary fest on an unprecedented scale, Jaipur Literary Festival has in fact fashioned literary tourism in India. The year 2016's program from 21st to 25 January spilled a carnival of around 222 participants ranging from Man Booker winning Margaret Atwood and Marlon James to Padma Shri author Ruskin Bond and Malayalam poet K. Sachidanandan. Festival director William Dalrymple called it a positive circle, adding, the sponsors get to sell their things, writers get their books read, readers get to be entertained, and fans get to meet their heroes. Actor Shatrugan Shina, while talking about his biography, Anything But Khamosh, the strengthens the, the Shatrugan Shina biography, began by welcoming the, the creamy people, the intellectuals, who had gathered to partake in the confluence of art and ideas. The largest literary show on earth, which has come a long way from being a congregation of a handful, has indeed evolved into a jamboree of the largely urban creamy de la creme. The journey from a manuscript to a book is not all about arts. Among all the politics that is involved along the way, one undeniable factor is that of the book being a product that caters to a market of readers. And this is where the literary agents and the publishing industry come in as mediators of public discourse. Both writing and reading are no longer activities performed in isolation and literary festivals pitch in as supposed agents, agents of the formation of public aesthetic culture. Through interaction with readers, book, read, book reading, and book, book signing, literature has come to be performance at different literary festivals. But the magnitude of the performance at Jaipur Literary Festival was so vast that it became self-defeating, with a 40% increase in footfall as compared to an estimated quarter or a million since last year. The venue was packed uh, to the gate. And as happens with too much pomp and splendor, the very essence of being able to closely interact with the author and immense in engaging discussions was lot. This time, Jaipur Literary Festival has disappointed me, the core, with merchandise stalls at very corner and too many disinterested people with the sole purpose of clicking selfies with the famous personalities about whom they can barely say a word, it seemed more like a New Year's Eve party than a literary festival, said Upama Vishyas, a junior editor with a book publishing firm. To many with too little interest in literature is something that helps in the economics of arranging such fest, but certainly not its content. Add to the fact that there was just one bookstall, full circle bookstall, but a range of stalls selling everything from accessories and clothing to home decor. Cafes, eateries, lounges, all overpriced crowded the space to such an extent that there was hardly a corner to sit and think about what one has just heard 
in one of the talk sessions or read one of the books one has just bought. The book stall itself was one pattern of the authors who were participants in the fest since the stock consisted mostly of their books apart and perhaps to uh, self-consciously a couple of copies of Amitabha Ghosh's Sea of Poppies. Ghosh had earlier expressed his intention of keeping away from literary festivals since he believes books should have lives of their own and that writers could only diminish the autonomy and integrity of their work by, by inserting themselves between the reader and the text. An event of this scale requires enormous resources and this is where sponsors make headway into an already tight first nexus of book business. The list of Jaipur Literary Fest 2016 sponsors form a literature of its own with every session beginning with advertisements that looked more like some television award ceremony instead of a serious literary event. But behind all the commerce, it is the content of the fest in terms of speakers, the topics of discussion and the way they are organized that decides the quality of the fest. Having heard a lot about Jaipur Literary Festival, I was very keen to attend this edition. However, it was slightly underwhelming experience, said lawyer Aman, who was attending the ILS in Gaze session. I found the flash flagship session that I attended border bordering rhetoric. He added, the primary uh, themes of this year's programs revolved around issues of privacy, modernity, migration, health, and mental well-being and translations. The topics of the session have fallen into repetitive pattern and we have a set of writers and speakers who come down each year, said Siddharth Chandra, a research scholar with Jahalal Nehru University. Regarding the process of selecting the content, Dalrymple said, Namita and I cover for each other, I bring in the international names and she reaches out to the roots. It is a tight rope that Jaipur Literary Festival works trying to include every aspect of contemporary discourse without in a pleasing manner. The event came to its conclusion with an outrageous session on the issue of freedom of speech in India, debating whether the freedom ought to be absolute or conditional. The argument catapulted into a mad slinging political debate between the speakers, something which perhaps the organizers of Jaipur Literary Festival would have wanted to avoid given the chance. Hyderabad Literary Festival Hyderabad Literary Festival or HLF is a literary festival held in Hyderabad. It is a three-day annual event that celebrates creativity in all its forms. Every year has a guest nation whose literature is showcased in the festival and an Indian language in focus. The festival has emerged as an important event in the cultural calendar of the country representing, as, as it does, the rich and cosmopolitan ethos of the twin cities of Hyderabad and Secunderabad. Hyderabad Literary Festival is a festival for all. Its program includes conversations with authors, readings, discussion panels, workshops, book launches, cultural programs, and events for uh, college students and school children. Literature for Life Literature for Life is an annual literary festival organized by the English daily The Hindu in Chennai, India. The festival was inaugurated in 2011 to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Hindu's Literary Review. The first edition of the festival was held in 2011 in Chennai and was attended by poets Arvind Krishna Mehratra and authors Jerry Pinto, Nilanjana Roy, Devdut Patnayak, Gopal Krishna Gandhi, Ashok Ferry, and fashion designer and author Wendell Rodriguez. The fourth edition of the event was held in Chennai during 12 to 14 January 2014. The name of the recipient of the Hindu Literary Prize for the year 2013, Anis Salim, was announced by novelist Jim Grace during the valedictory function of the festival. Now, APJ Kolkata Literary Festival. 
APJ Kolkata Literary Festival is organized in association with the Times of India in the month of January every year in Kolkata. The festival is a window to a world of ideas and creativity. There are multiple venues to host the sessions, some being iconic like Victoria Memorial Quadrangle, Town Hall Steps, Indian Museum Courtyard, Presidency University and Oxford Bookstore, serving as the fulcrum. In 2016, Ben Okri, a Nigerian poet and novelist, shared his thoughts on the mystery of storytelling and also read from his poetry. This was followed by the uh, screening of a film, a first at a literary event, Aparnashen's Sari Rat, an adaptation of Badal Sarkar's play. The variety of the events showed the out-of-the-box thinking of the festival directors Mayana Bhagat and Anjum Katiel. The stories of the trials and tribunals faced by various authors in their initial stage were moving. Writing is not a career for the faint-hearted given the pressures of family members. The method of choosing themes, the process of writing and understanding the intricacies of the publishing business and their commercial interest. The challenges seem to be common across all genres of writing. There were several book releases and session with prize-winning authors from across the world. Young achievers in creative fields shared their stories in the session titled Head and Heart. The participants were Ashika Kapoor, wild photographer, Soumya Mukherjee, uh, actor and founder of Mad About Drama, Shomak Ghosh, radio jockey, singer and actor, Swaralipi Chatterjee, founder of Book Cafe, Abar Boitok, Anirban Shaha, founder of Kolkata, bloggers, all in their 20s. Romancing the Young Reader was conducted by Vinita Dwara Nanjia, uh, director, Right India of the Times of India. In Crime Time, Kishwa Deshai discussed with authors namely Veronique Ovalde of France, Liad Shoham of Israel, Pere Giorgio uh, Pulixi of Italy, Borun Chanda and Victor K. Ghosh Crime writing is one of the most popular genres. Lucknow Literary Festival The Lucknow Literary Literature Festival or Lucknow Literary Festival is an international literary festival held annually in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, India since 2013. The Lucknow Literature Festival was an endeavor of the Lucknow Society, which is a non-profit organization dedicated to the cause of promoting and conservating the culture. Tehzeeb and heritage of Lucknow. The Lucknow Literary Festival is an initiative that acknowledges new literary talents, honors our legends while restoring literary tradition of the past. Lucknow's own unique heritage and also evoking the newer generation's interest. The event is also replete with entertainment for the literary taste. While on one hand, the Lucknow Literary Festival has become a hub of the glitch from all across the country, it also dawns the light upon Lucknow's own talent and gives them a stage to showcase themselves in our cultural program. It is a three-day event that celebrates creativity in all its forms. It is held each year in Lucknow during the month of February or March and celebrates excellence in Indian and international writing. It is India's only literary festival conceptualized and organized by youths. As one among the top six literary festivals in India, as stated by Outlook magazine, Lucknow Literary Festival brings together some of the greatest thinkers and writers from across the world, from Nobel laureates to local language writers, Padma Shri holders to debat novelists. Every February, the most remarkable, witty, sensitive, and brilliant collection of authors come together for three days of readings, debates, and discussions at one platform. Its program includes conversations with authors, readings, panel discussions, workshops, book launches, cultural programs, events for college students, and school children. Lucknow Literary Festival plays host to nearly 100 writers from across India and other countries writing in various Indian languages and English every year. The Lucknow Literary Festival has been adorned with sundry of well-known names and faces that not only grace the event with their 
presence but also share their experience, their insights with young and old alike. The Lucknow Literary Festival to confers pride of Lucknow Award and Wazed Alisha Award which are given to people who have been contributing extraordinary in different spheres of life. These people may belong to various fields like Hindi writing, Urdu writing, journalism, social service, etc. These eminent personalities belong to Lucknow and even across India respectively. Now let us conclude our dis discussion. The aim of these international festivals is not to democratize their elite beginnings but rather to promote literature as a Nietzsche brand for quality writing that is valid on a global scale. These festivals are influenced by the marketing desires of publishing companies. The aim of the literary festival in marketing to a virtually and globally connected elite literary audience makes them more susceptible uh, to, to experiencing uh, declines in audience and authors and author participation. Such kind of literary festivals <coughs> not only promote the new kinds of books or not only offers stages to, uh, to the uh, literary figures or those people who are related with publishing, but it promotes the books. So these festivals are for celebrating the books, for selling the books, to, to set up, to establish or re-establish the relation among people and book. Such kind of festivals happening in different parts of India actually promotes the idea of Indian literature. Mostly in our discussion, we have discussed the significance of these literary festivals as a whole, as a greater contribution to the literature, as a greater contribution to the relationship between literature and people. But through this dis discussion, we tried to hint that the increase in such kind of programs actually increase the way of translation and translated literature also. Such kind of festivals helps us to encounter the original writers and translators too. And we can find the translated books in front of our eyes in these festivals. So, the books which are translated comes closer to the readers, to the greater audience, to the people. Such kind of festivals as these are the meets for the publisher, for the editors, for the writers and for the translators. So many translation contracts can be happened, can be initiated from these <coughs> meetings, from these meets or from this platform. Otherwise, it is very difficult to get copyright, to get contact the writer and to uh, bring a confidence in the mind of original writer if you are a new translator. Such kind of meetings offer a platform to talk directly, to converse directly between the author and the translator, between the author, translator, publisher and editor and such a way a literary bonding, a literary uh, knowing has been established or, or, or being established in, in the sphere of, in the space of literary practices or among those people who are engaged with li literature. And though these literary festivals are not solely meant for the translation only or translated literature only, but in general sense it is meant for literature and the coexistence of literature and other art and the views of personalities who are engaged with other arts, how they look at literature. But all these possibilities, all these practices reopens the possibilities of translation, a future to the translators. It brings the communication among the new writers or unknown writers or established writer who is not much known to the common people. It brings the relation among those and it creates an environment for the translation and for the 
translation pub translation publishers to directly communicate with the original writer and the publication house which make easier to get the copyright which make uh, which make a new way to talk directly with the original author or the publisher about the translation about the uh, translated work or about the fu uh, uh, the future work of translation this is how in indirect way or this is how, in to some extent, these festivals have immense importance to bring a consciousness about literature which in some other way helps the work of translation too. And this is how, and, and because of that, book fairs also have similar kind of, almost similar kind of significance to confirm the future of translation, to bring the consciousness about translation among the readers, publishers and other people who are engaged with the publishing industry. This is how this kind of festivals uh, reopens the possibility and new horizon of translated literature in very particularly and literature in general. Thank you.